Nestled high up in the eastern Tibetan plateau is a breathtaking nature reserve called Yading. The name in the Tibetan language means a holy land facing the sun. Yading is characterized by soaring Himalayan peaks, vast green meadows, crystal clear rivers, and glacier-fed lakes. It's a mountain sanctuary and a significant Tibetan pilgrim site comprising three sacred mountains sanctified by the fifth Dalai Lama. Each mountain represents a physical manifestation of important Tibetan Buddhist deities. The tallest among them is Chernizig, the god of compassion. Then there's Chana Dorje, the god of power, and Japliang, the god of wisdom. Come with me as I make my own pilgrimage to Yating's three sacred mountains. <laughs> my journey begins in the city of Chengdu. I'm traveling with my mom this time and we are taking the tourist bus that will take us to Daochen Yading. The journey is around 800 kilometers and it will take us over 15 hours on the Sichuan Tibetan Highway. Despite the long journey, there are many rest stops along the way. We are now at a rest stop. Lots of tourists here. There are some grandmas over there. They all have the same uniform. Really cute. Where we were, which is Chengdu. And there. And then this is where we're going to. Daochen. Along the way, we're climbing over high passes, navigating over hairpin roads, and greeted by lush meadows. Prayer flags fluttered in the wind, blessing our journey west. The weather changes quickly in the high mountains. It could be sunny one minute and windy next. I forgot how difficult it is to hike uphill in elevation. The bus made a longer stop as we arrived in Daochen County. We wandered around, marveling at the beautiful Tibetan houses and the smiles of friendly locals. I think they are being dried and used to warm up the house in the winter or at night time. The Junshin Stupa is also worth a visit. At any hour of day, you will see local Tibetans praying and circling the stupas to pay their respect. We just arrived in Ruwa. It's a city very close to Daochen Yading Nature Reserve and we just checked in our hotel. Ruwa is quite developed and you can get all your essentials for your hike here. <laughs> we are renting some <laughs> trekking sticks from him. <laughs> Good morning! Today's the day. After the long journey, I'm ready to start the hike in Yading. Today, my plan is to hike from Luorong Cattle Ranch to the Two Holy Lakes. It's around 10 kilometers and reaching an elevation of 4,700 meters. <laughs> Very, very okay, we've now arrived at Laurel Pasture, and this is where we will start our hike today. So, from here, the five color lake is around five kilometers. It's actually quite windy here. Along the way, we have the beautiful Yama Yong mountain right next to us. And no clouds today. I think we are very, very lucky. 
You also see a lot of people with oxygen bottles. I'm not sure if the oxygen bottle works, but a lot of the stores here sell them. Luorong Cattle Ranch is an open and flat alpine meadow nestled between three sacred mountains. It is a pasture for the nearby Tibetans to graze their livestock. Wild Himalayan blue sheep also roam nearby. The mountains are rich in biodiversity and medicinal treasures. You will see locals selling medicinal herbs that can only be found in the Tibetan plateau. So that local woman was selling the. It's in Chinese. It's called Dong Chong Xia Cao, which is translated to winter warm summer herbs. It's kind of like a Chinese superfood. A lot of people who live nearby, they're usually Tibetans, and they make a living by collecting herbs in the mountain. Various superfood, like the warm herbs, mushrooms. Uh, also, another very famous one is called Zhonghonghua, which is translated to Tibetan red flower. Oh, I think it's maybe called saffron in English. <laughs> The name of this lake is written on that sign. It's called Gong Ga Cuo. Wow. It's getting a little bit more difficult as we are past the flat area. And now we are starting an upward climb. Right now we are here, still need to walk up this way. After another hour of straight ascent, we soon reach Shu Ya. At 4,400 meters, we started the final climb. The landscape transformed from alpine meadows into snow-capped mountains. In Buddhist scriptures, the Five Color Lake is one of the Tibetan holy lakes. It is said that the Five Color Lakes can reflect history and predict the future. We are now headed down to the Milk Lake. It's all downhill from here, so pretty easy.
Like a tongue, so. On our way back, we snapped some celebratory photos for our first mother daughter hike. We made it back in Ruwa before dark and indulged in some delicious hot pot. All right, good night. Good morning. It's about 7:30 a.m. right now, and I'm entering the Yading Natural Reserve again for the second time. If you're entering for the second time, you have to pay a half price ticket. I just bought this from the tour center. Um, it's a little less than ten dollars. Today I'm on my own as my mom is having a rest day. My plan is to hike from Chongku Temple to Pearl Lake. Please. I just got off the park bus that took around an hour, same as yesterday. Whew. I think there was a big elevation change from the entrance to here. Wow. It was a totally different feel because yesterday we arrived a little bit late, but today I came around 7:15, 7:30, and there's no one here, and it feels so peaceful. As I'm walking, I'm usually the only one on the trail, and maybe there are a few locals. By the way, if you pass by locals here, people would always say to you, It kind of reminds me, similar to like Namaste if you're traveling Nepal. Nepal. means peace to you or happiness to you. And you can say it when you uh, meet someone or when you want, want to say hi or when you want to say bye or basically anytime. All right, let's go to the temple. Chongku, it means a temple at the source of a lake. Altitude 3,900 meters. Chongku Temple has been a Tibetan Buddhism sanctuary for over 800 years for both locals and pilgrims. The three Buddhist deities representing the three holy mountains can be seen throughout the temple. This path is right behind the temple. So you just have to walk past the temple. It's a pretty gentle uphill climb, but it's still uphill. Not as easy as I thought. Oh, there's some monkeys. Oh my God, they are very big. Oh, two mommies, little baby on their belly. Oh, one more. Oh my God, so many mommies. I just had a snack and I feel so much better. I was feeling a little bit tired. Right now we have a beautiful view of Xian Nai Ri. I think right now the weather is still a little dry, which is great for hiking when there's a little bit more rainfall. I think the lake does flow where I just passed. Wow.
With our yachting adventure coming to an end, I was filled with gratitude for having experienced the raw beauty of this place. Yating is often referred to as the last pure place on Earth and the mythical utopia Shangri-La. American explorer Joseph Rock described Yating as the finest mountains my eyes ever beheld. He published photos of Yating in National Geographic in 1930. It was mesmerizing to see the photos from 1930 appear right before my eyes and think about the explorers who have been here centuries before. And I hold a similar aspiration for the generations to come in the centuries ahead.